Summer is over, which means it's time for all the layers. In this video, I'm going to review a new hoodie and pants from Kettle. Welcome back, Pathless Pedalers, and if you are into riding bikes, but not necessarily racing them, you have found your people, consider subscribing. So we were recently introduced to the mountain bike clothing brand Kettle, and as summer has disappeared and we are starting to stare down winter, I've been riding in this new full zip hoodie and lightweight pant that they sent over. So what do I think? Let's start with the pants. So the pants are designed to be an overpant, which means that they're meant to be worn over your bike shorts or whatever else you might wear while riding. Uh, they're made out of a nice lightweight fabric and they have a nice tapered leg, which also has a snap at the bottom so you can cinch it in even further. You'll also notice that down at the ankle, there is an extra piece of fabric that reinforces it right there. So what do I like about these pants? Well, for starters, I really like the tapered leg. It's designed to be worn on a bike, so it's designed to keep the, the lower part of your pant legs out of your wheels and your drivetrain and all of that other stuff. The second thing I really like about them is that they are cut really nicely for people like me who have thighs. Uh, I feel like a lot of women's pants, especially these days, are cut with a really slim fit. Uh, and so what that means is that it's basically hugging you while you're, you're riding and constricting. And what's nice about these pants is that they're pants. They're not tights, they're not leggings, they're not designed to be leggings, and there's plenty of space in there for uh, your thighs to do their thing, to, uh, you know, move and stretch and, um, and not get caught up in the pants. Fabric, like I said, is a really nice lightweight. Uh, it's also really soft, it's airy. Uh, so for the most part, you don't really even notice that they're there. Uh, they're kind of, uh, they're not constricting. So as much as I appreciate that they, the pants are cut nice and roomy in the thigh, uh, I'm not a big fan of the way that the waist is cut on these pants. Um, for starters, they're really low waist, low cut. A lower waist uh, is nice when you're riding, kind of keeps it off your stomach while you're, you're pedaling and hunched over. I feel like it just pulls down uh, in a way that's not comfortable for me. So it may work for you, but um, for me, I just feel like uh, they're, sag they're kind of sagging in a way that I... I not a fan of. Um, I'm wearing a medium in these and I typically am somewhere between a small and a medium depending on the way a pant is cut. So um, I feel like these are pretty true to size. Uh, one thing to know though is that I feel like the waist uh, is exactly where I want it to be um, without using the little pull tabs on the side to cinch it up. So if you feel like you're in between sizes, I would definitely size up. Overall, I think these, these pants are really nicely made. They're really nicely constructed. Uh, the fabric is beautiful. It's buttery soft. Uh, so they feel really luxe while you're wearing them. And while they're not necessarily meant to protect you from the elements, I feel like the weave is tight enough that it does kind of protect you from a little bit of that wind. So moving on to the hoodie. The hoodie has be quickly become one of my favorite riding pieces. Uh, it is a long sleeve, full zip uh, with a hood, and it's got two hand warmer pockets and one stash pocket at the back, which, yes, are fully functional pockets, which is a rarity in women's clothing. So one thing I really like about this is that you can tell that they didn't just take the men's version and shrink it. The hoodie is also cut in a little bit at the waist and then it comes out again at the hips. Uh, so again, you have a lot of nice uh, flexibility and movement. They chose to do a raglan seaming, uh, which I feel like gives you a lot of extra space uh, and flexibility when you're moving your arms around. They also cut uh, it nice and wide across the chest and the upper arm so that if you have a chest, you have extra space to move around. It doesn't uh, get caught uh, it doesn't sit too tightly. Uh, it's not constricting. It's, you know, it's a nice over piece. Um, I've worn this over uh, base layers and there's still plenty of room. It moves freely. The other thing that I really love about this hoodie is that it is crazy warm. I am a person who is always cold while I am riding a bike, especially if the temperatures are below 70 or the sun is not out. This hoodie has kept me nice and warm. There have been days where the you know the temps are only in the 50s, um, but I am sweating, uh, hot. Today we went out for a ride and it was in the low 40s and I had a base layer on underneath and I was plenty warm the whole way through and even hot while climbing. The thing that I'm not such a big fan of with this hoodie is the way that the lower part is cut. Um, it's cut to have this kind of high-low hem and while it makes a lot of sense, 
uh, to have it higher uh, at the front so that it's not bunching while you're uh, leaning over on your bike. I feel like it, for me, it's too short in the front. And again, this might go back to me being tall and having a longer torso, um, but I wish that it was a little bit longer in the front. So overall, I've been really pleased with both of these pieces and they will definitely be staples in my wardrobe. The hoodie, uh, by far and away, is my favorite of the two. Uh, it's just nice and snuggly, it is nice and warm, and so I think that it, it will see me well into winter. So if you're looking for a really nice, warm, snuggly riding hoodie or a pair of riding pants that are actually pants, uh, I would definitely encourage you to go check out Kettle. So if you have any questions, leave those in the comments below. I'm happy to answer them. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and as always, keep the supple side down.